Hi, Ben here from Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to be reviewing the Loop Cross S1, and in particular we're going to be reviewing the MC slash MF 9 foot 5 weight. For those of you who are not familiar with the Loop brand, MC stands for mid-curve, and MF means that this is the medium-fast version of this rod. Now if you haven't heard about Loop, it's probably because if you're based in the US like we are, Loop hasn't had a major presence. But they're actually one of the biggest tackle, tackle manufacturers out there. And in particular in Europe, they just dominate the market. And you're gonna see why when we start casting this Cross S1. As usual, we'll be casting this rod with our favorite reel and line setup, which is the Lampson Lightspeed Size 2 and SA GPX. But first, let's look at some of the cool features on this rod. Starting from the bottom, we've got a great anodized aluminum reel seat. And like all loop rods, it's asymmetrical. So that means you're not going to be fiddling around with the reel seat when you go to put your reel on. Another thing I like about this is it's skeletonized. So you can see the blank as it passes through the reel seat. It's totally cosmetic, but a really nice, cool feature. Then going on up, we've got a reversed half wells grip with top notch cork, but it's not quite as nice a cork as you'll see on something like a Winston, but still very, very comfortable. Then we get to the blank which is also very nice, but most importantly, we've got the 3M logo here. And that means this rod is built with 3M resins, and that's the nuts and bolts of this rod. It's what makes this rod cast so well across all these distances. I'm not a material scientist, but when it comes to performance and fly rods, 3M resins are definitely the best of the best right now. Moving on up, you'll see some nice alignment dots that Loop has given us as well as nothing but top-notch recoil guides on both the stripping and the snake guides. Now let's get out in the field and see how it casts. So after casting that Cross S1, I was really impressed at how it performed kind of across the board. Really accurate at 30 feet, really accurate at 45, and still accurate at 60. Easily one of the top-notch rods out there. It's in the company of the Orvis Helios 2, the Hardy Zephyrus, the G. Loomis Asquith. There's one area that it didn't perform quite as well as maybe the Zephyrus, is at 60 feet, you can kind of feel that medium fast action, not giving you quite as much power as you'd like to really nail it every single time. But that said, it's still really, really good. Accuracy way out is something I'm willing to sacrifice for a little bit better performance close in. Overall, a top-notch rod. I'm going to say 9.5 out of 10 at 30 feet, 9.5 out of 10 at 45, and probably a 9 out of 10 at 60 feet for this Loop Cross S1. So as you can tell from the casting portion of this review, I really enjoyed the Cross S1. If you haven't thought about Loop lately for your next trout rod, you deserve to give this rod a chance. It's up there with all of the top rods from any major manufacturer. And while it is built in Korea, it's designed in Sweden by some of the top casters in the world. The Loop Cross S1 retails for $795 and ships with free second day air from tridentflyfishing.com. If you have questions about this rod or any Loop fly rod, Give us a call at 888-413-5211 or email us 24-7 at support at tridentflyfishing.com. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, give us a like and leave a comment in the box below. I'm Ben. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <music>